Hello and welcome back to our third lesson on Hinduism. I decided to come out a little bit and to visit the Mandir or Hindu temple here in Mawa, New Jersey. Um, of course everything is closed because of social distancing but um, there are still some nice things to see out here. For example, uh, I can see that there is a statue of Lord Ganesh who is nicely decorated right in front of the pond here. See that? Um, it's an interesting decoration that Lord Ganesh has here. And then there, is, uh, there are elephants right in front of the Mandir. And this is the Hindu Samaj temple. It's a beautiful temple from the inside. I will also um, link in a little video presentation about the temple from the inside. And I will be sitting down here now and we will talk a little bit about meditation. We have been talking about the rishis in the forest who received their revelations or their heard things in the Vedas through meditation. And you probably read what I've written in the lesson before, uh, but I wanted to lead you through um, a little bit of a meditation. I wonder how many of you have ever meditated before. If you have never meditated before, just um, allow yourself to go through this. Uh, I will only ask you to do this for one minute, not for any longer. But oftentimes, even to keep quiet for one minute might be difficult. We are very quick when, when there is some time somehow that seems to be unfilled, to fill it with things either to go to our phone or to um, think about the next thing to do. And we are always, our mind is always doing things in some way or another. And it leads us to be a very, in a very hectic life. Think about meditation as a moment where you empty yourself, where you do not have to do anything, where you just realize that you are. One of the things that people find difficult in meditation is how to quiet their mind. Because our mind is always going, right? There are always thoughts going on and it's hard to turn that off. One thing that I've learned about meditation is that you cannot really prevent thoughts to come to you. And if you were to try to push away any kind of thought, that would only attract the thought even more, right? You would start focusing on that particular thought because, because you're trying to push it away. The best way to deal with that is to think about uh, your brain to be like a bush and the thoughts to be like birds. The birds are coming around and the bush has no power over the fact whether or not the birds are going to come and sit in the bush, right? So the birds are coming up and they're sitting in, in your brain, the thoughts. But what you don't want to have them to do is to build a nest there. You don't want them to settle down in there. So the thought that comes in like a little bird, just release it again. Let it allow it to go again. Maybe observe that there was a thought, but then let it go again. And also the way that you sit, of course, is always important. Um, uh, you don't necessarily have to sit in that particular uh, position that you know from meditating people that cross over the legs. I am not able to do that. My legs are too um, big for that. They don't allow me to cross over my feet. Um, but what is important is that we sit calmly and comfortably with both feet on the ground and that um, we are sitting straight and tall with the head nice and um, uh, straight up on our shoulders. And then you might want to open your hands just like that. So I will Try to sit like that for yourself for a moment and just empty yourself. Open yourself to what the world has for you at this moment. And I will lead us through a one minute um, meditation. Don't worry about the time. I will have a little gong sound to start the meditation. And then after one minute, you will hear the gong again 
and you can release the, the time of meditation. As you are in meditation, focus on your breath. Your eyes can be closed or maybe slightly open, but try not to look at anything specifically. And then focus on your breath with deep breathing in, in, into your uh, stomach area. Maybe focus the belly button in and out. And so it would be, and you would breathe only through your nostrils, in and out, your mouth stays closed. And so let me begin to lead you through the meditation. Get yourself comfortable. And when the gong sounds, then just begin to focus on your breath in and out. Now you can slowly release your focus on your breath again and open your eyes and then you can continue watching the video. So I wonder what that was like for you and respond on the next page to what this was like for you.